Okay. What I'm going to go through is going to go through two problems of solving what are known as logistic equations. Logistic equations, which are a variation of exponential equations. A little bit harder, um, but you use a lot in advanced algebra, calculus, and whatnot. So you have to know how to solve them. What we have right here is, in our first example, we have what's known as a logistic equation. You see that we have a variable in the denominator, and we also have an exponent in the denominator as well. So the first thing we want to do is, whenever we have a variable in the denominator that we want to solve for, in this case we want to solve for 2, um, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides um, by the denominator. All right, so what we're going to have is 350, and we're going to multiply that by 1 plus 250, e to the negative 0.43. And that's going to equal 600. So when we do that, that will cancel both sides. All right. Next thing we're going to do is now we're going to get the exponent by itself. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 350. All right. That'll be so nice. So now I have 250 and e, and then get 0.4 and now we have 600. So divide by 350. Okay. From here, um, we can make this a little bit nicer. If you're not sure what 600 divided by 350 is, it's a big calculator. All right, 600, all right, divided by, see if we can simplify this, divided by 350. All right, and that's going to give us the answer of that. If you don't know how to use second grade math, you can go down a fraction. I'm going to give a nice little fraction here. You got 12 cents, 12 cents. Okay. Let's keep it in, not a decimal, but always try to keep it in as right, a proper fraction as possible. All right, we have 12 cents. And that's going to have 1 plus 250. From here, I'm going to subtract 1. So now I'm going to get, once again, I'm going to get the exponential by itself. So doing that, I subtract 1 on both sides. We're going to have 250. We'll e to the negative 0.4t. All right, we have 12 over 7 minus 1. Um, let's simplify that one. We have to get a common denominator. So we have 12 7 and some are 7. Factor that out, we have 5 7 so that's what it's going to be. All right, we have 5 7 And that's going to equal 250. All right, e to the point or g. Okay, and I'll erase this just in case. All right, so they're all simplifying. We've got our answer. Now, the last thing, we're getting to the end, but now we want to get this by itself. So we're going to go and divide by all right, 1 over 250 from both sides. That will cancel out. And we also have to do that to here over here. So we have e to the negative 0.4t equals 5 7 times 1 over 250. All right, I'm going to simplify this. And I know 5 goes into here. It's going to be 50 times. All right, so now what we have is e to the negative 0.4t equals 1 over, well, 7 times 50 is going to be 350. All right, 350. And now from here, what we're going to do is now we have a basic exponential problem. In order to solve for an exponent, what we're going to do is we're going to all right, log both sides, because we're going to change the inverse property. We're going to net log both sides. In this case, the log we're going to use is a natural log. So we're going to natural log. Natural log e to the negative point four t power. Natural log 1 over 350. And what happens is, once again, the inverse property, these cancel out. As long as we can both of the inverse equals the value you plug inside of it, and that value is the exponent, which is negative 0.4t, and that equals natural log of 1 over 350. From here, now we just need to solve for t, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative log of 50, and divide by negative 0.4. Find out a decimal answer to figure our calculator out. Clear this, we can go natural log of 1 divided by 350, close parentheses, and divided by negative 0.4, enter, and we should have a 14.645. 14 14.645. Right. 14 Did that right? Wait, let me just check that one more time. 14.645. You got it. All right, so that's how we do it. Uh, if you didn't get that, let's try another one. It's a little bit more involved, so we'll try now with this one. All right. So from here, we're going to do the same thing. Maybe I'll do a little bit faster because if you notice over here, when we multiply both sides, 
we essentially are just using kind of close multiplying and changing the mean extremes. So a little fancy way, we know it's going to equal, all right, 1 plus 850, e to the 16, equals 1500 over 750. Okay. From here, we can probably simplify this um, pretty quickly. This this cancel out. Um, we know we can take a uh, five. Uh, what can we take out of here? All right, fifteen five and whatnot. Hmm. Not sure. We'll go to our calculator right away. All right, uh, fifteen hundred divided by seven fifty, and we have that. Oh, okay. the equals two. Didn't know that. All right, equals two. All right, so we have this equals two. We have one plus eight fifty. E to the three point six two. All right, well, that's a nice little answer. From here, we're going to continue on, and we're going to subtract 1, so we have 850, e to the negative 0. 0.16. Subtract 1, it's going to give us 1. We're now going to divide by 850, so we have e to the negative 0. 0.16. We have 1 over 850. Now from here, once again, we're left with our basic exponential. How do you solve an exponential? We're going to natural log. We're going to natural log e to the negative 0. 0.16. Natural log this one, 1 over 850. And then finally, that's basically the sum from the theme. All right, we'll figure out our final answer. We're going to have negative 0. 0.16 equals natural log of 1 over 650. And this can probably be gone a little bit faster. I'm just writing out all my work for all those that, all right, maybe need this. All right, a lot of us. And we're going to divide by negative 0. 0.6. If you go to our calculators once again, I don't know what uh, natural log of 1 over 850 is. It doesn't mean negative, but I'm not sure what that is. So over here, clear it. Natural log of 1 divided by 850. And then divide that by negative 0.6. Press enter. And we have 11.242. 11.242. So we write that down here. 11.242. 242, I believe I said. All right, and then we have our answer. From that 1.240. Ah, yeah. All right, so this is what we have, um, and that's how you solve um, these different types of values. Okay. Um, key thing is get the exponent and the variable out of the denominator first. That's the key thing. All right, after you do that, you need to eliminate all the values to get the exponent by itself. Once you get the exponential by itself, after that, all right, then we're just doing algebra and divide, then we calculate kind of what the final answer is. And then we'll all right. Well, I hope this helps you out. Two great examples, some difficult examples with volume logistic equations. So good luck and God bless the rest of your time.